Hello and welcome to Technique Tuesday. In this video I'm just going to show you a couple of techniques that um, you can use with a stencil. So I have my stencil here, as you can see it's a lovely baby one. The only thing I would say about it is it's is quite flimsy and um, for some reason they, they don't seem to give you a very big board around the edge which, which I find a, a little bit frustrating but that's my personal issue with stencils. But um, So this is my stencil, nice baby one and um, I'm using my Crafts 2 um, so I'm taking out the base rubber bit and um, I'm putting it in the metallic part. Uh, which comes with these metallic, these metal rules, so they stick to it. Now, this isn't ne a necessary um, piece of equipment. It's a little bit handy because it does your rubber stamps and your stenciling too. So the first thing I'm going to show you is, uh, this is one where I've already done the base, and I'm going to show you how you can add a little bit more interest to the design. So the first thing I'm going to do is put my stencil on. Now, when I first did this one, I um, had it butted up here. And as you can see there, I can line it up and recreate where I have my stencil. Now, this time I'm going to move it slightly down so that because I'm going to do this in a slightly different color. So I'm going to pop my metal rules there. Now, if you haven't got metal rules, um, what you can use is um, I've got this now this is low tack tape but if you haven't got low tack tape it works just as well with cellar tape but never put it straight down you need to take some of the tackiness off so um, I usually put it on my clothes or on a piece of um, kitchen towel like that and that takes off some of the tackiness so you can use this to mask your design or to hold your stencil down and I wouldn't push too hard so this is um, the other thing I do is I don't tend to throw away my tacky tape as you can see it's got the um, paint from previous so I'm just going to use that and you can use that to mask off areas so if I don't want um, oh this bit's got a bit stuck if I don't want this area here I can put that down there and that will mask that area off so that's my stencil ready and as you can see I've lowered my little hearts to below the um, ones that I've already done I probably should have gone a little bit lower but it is there now so I'm gonna use my paint now I'm using a different color so these are the um, opal polishes from Cosmic Shimmer and they come with a nice little sponge applicator but any sponge would do so I'm pulling off some of my paint I don't want too much because I don't want this too too rich a colour and I'm just dabbing off some of the excess and then I'm going to come across here and I'm just going to do I, I tend to find that doing little twirly motions works really well so you're just twirling it and lifting it and I'm not going to worry about the fact that some of it isn't completely coloured because I want it to um, be a gradual colour. So, uh, so you can see here, these ones have got a lot of paint and this one here, not quite so much. But you will get a, um, a hint of the colour. So you, you can use that to, uh, to some effect. So I'm going to just add a bit more. So as you put on the first, lay your sponge down the first time, there's more colour. So I'm just going to keep going there. And that's all I'm going to do on this bit. So I'm just going to carefully take this off now. So as you can see, it's still sticky. And I'm just going to put it to one side. I don't tend to throw it away after the first use and um, hopefully it won't take any of my card away with it no it looks like i've got away with that so then i can lift off and you can see there you've got a shadowy effect 
on the hearts in a different colour and it goes from sort of quite dark to paler as you get further over. So um, this one is really lovely. It's got a really great shimmer to it. So I'm going to now show you another method using um, the same stencil and I'm going to use my hearts again. And I'm not going to worry that it's um, slightly uh, got paint on it. You can clean it. I would suggest cleaning it and letting your paint dry if you're doing the two-tone method. And normally I would clean this one as well. But um, I'm just going to show you this, this little method. So I want to go from dark to light across one, one half. So here's my dark going on and I'm just going to keep dabbing it, take off some of the excess and then so keep dabbing it. So I'm going to do half, half in green and half in my purple. So there we go. So now I'm ready to do my purple. So again, um, take off the excess but this time I'm going to come from the other direction so the dark purple is over here and if you think there's too much on just dab it off because I want it to sort of go from dark to light and just keep I would suggest uh, adding the color uh, gradually so um, sort of don't go full on I think, uh, let's try a little bit more just a little bit dab a lot off and you can also sort of use lighter strokes to put it on so that's see how that looks and I would also really recommend having a good play with these before you go for your um, the, the piece that you want to do. See how your um, stencil behaves. So, and there you are, you can see the sort of graduation. It probably would have been better the other way. So you, you had paler at the other end and I probably should have put more paint on. But it gives you an idea of how you can use these. Um, and just remember, you don't have to um, put them all over in one direction. You can turn your stencil around and make very creative backgrounds. So hopefully that will give you an idea of how to stencil. Um, this is a perfect way to get children into crafts because they, they love playing and um, stenciling is all about playing. So that's your uh, technique for Tuesday and hopefully you'll give it a go. Take care.